This video will present solutions to the VCE 2021 Mathematical Methods Written Examination 2, Section A, Questions 1 to 5. Section A, Question 1. Using the relationship between the period of a tan function, which is pi units, and the coefficient of x, which is pi over 2 in this case, the period of this function can be found by dividing pi by pi over 2, which is equal to 2, answer B. Question 2. Using the log law that the log of a plus the log of b is equal to the log of a times b, the rule for y can be expressed as y equals log base e of x multiplied by 2x, i.e. 2x squared, which is answer C. Question 3. Based on the information provided, a confidence interval for the population proportion p can be found using the statistics app of a class pad. Opening the calculation menu, select interval. Choose a one proportion z interval from the drop down menu and tap next. Enter 0.95 as the confidence level. The sample count x is equal to the sample proportion multiplied by the sample size, i.e. 0.125 times 48, and it can be entered as such. Enter the sample size n and tap next. The interval calculated corresponds to answer A. Question 4. The maximum value of this function over the domain 0 to 2 can be found using the class pad's very handy fmax command. This can be found in the interactive menu of the main app under calculation. Enter the expression for the function and enter the domain as the start and end values. The maximum value of 0 is returned, meaning the answer is B. Question 5. The truth or otherwise of the four functional relations given can be assessed for the function f of x equals x by expressing each of the relations in terms of x. For f of x equals x, the first relation is equivalent to x equals minus x, which is not true in general. The second relation is equivalent to minus x equals minus x, which is true in general. The third relation is equivalent to x equals minus x. The last relation is equivalent to x squared equals x squared, which is true, meaning that two out of four of these equations are satisfied by the function f of x equals x, and so the answer is c. Question 6. 